So some of the recommendations for um, women of reproductive potential are, uh, in terms of healthy pregnancy, are things that we would recommend to them anyways. So folic acid, so, you know, it's actually, the jury is still out, really, whether it makes sense for most healthy adults to be taking a multivitamin. You know, the, some studies have shown that there isn't much of a benefit, it may not be worth the money, but for where it really counts is to have women of reproductive potential taking a sufficient amount of folic acid, because we know, you know, one, one of the really, like, sort of game changers, I think, in the history of medicine is that folic acid supplementation does prevent the risk of some birth defects, so most notably neural tube defects. And the neural tube forms very early in pregnancy, before most women know they're pregnant. So if you're gonna have an unplanned pregnancy, many women will be past the time of neural tube closure by the time they even realize that they're pregnant. So it's really important that women before conception and right after conception are taking folic acid. And you know, we have actually, um, in this country, we have supplemented uh, folate in food or folic acid in food. So some grains and cereals have some folic acid, but it's really important that in general, women have enough folic acid for this potential uh, risk of birth defects. Um, it's also, uh, and actually the more we learn about folic acid supplementation around pregnancy, the more important it looks. So there have been some studies showing that there may be neurocognitive and neurodevelopmental benefits of folic acid in utero, um, and also perhaps uh, maybe associated with the prevention of some disorders like autism and schizophrenia. So there's some really exciting research going on in that area. So it does make sense, you know, it's the, easy, the most simple thing for many women is to have them take a standard multivitamin if they're not planning pregnancy because it has a pretty good amount of folic acid. But if someone is planning pregnancy, to have them take either a higher dose of folic acid or a prenatal vitamin.